Okay, so part two, have a little update here. I forgot to mention, if you're having trouble removing the little clip that holds the actuator on there, get you one of these here. This has a very strong magnet on it. And it also, let's see if I can do this with one hand here, it also extends quite a good distance here. It's the whole thing. So you can get back up in there while you pop it off. And this will definitely grab it. It's got quite a strong head. Also, I found out why use socket wrenches when you could just use the handy dandy torque wrench with your extension on it to get the bolts off to get the bolts off of the housing now when you're doing the lower ones I took the extent that took the uh, spline socket off Thing, thing has the mega grip, so let's see if I can set this down here. Oh hell, hell with that! I'll show you right here. So I took off the socket, <laughs> and I put on my handy dandy swivel. Good old swivel. I just use the Titan one. It's good, good product here. Put on my 516 spline socket. And that sucker goes on pretty tight. And then I put it on to my good old torque wrench. That way I don't have to sit there fighting it. Comes right off. And if you're scared you're gonna drop a bolt while you're untorquing it, you could just voila turn this thing into a magnet with your extender magnet. I grabbed the bolt, pulled it out, no problem. Didn't go anywhere. So I got two of the bolts out so far. I know I left a mess here working on the other ones see if maybe I can get a video of me pulling this sucker out so we're gonna do the bottom one here I doubt I'll be able to do this but you get the idea use this pull out the other ones there's one behind the actuator here you can take the actuator off if you'd like if it makes life easier but the bolts are on the back of the actuator so I said hell with that I'll leave it on just use this torque wrench and my swivel with my magnet extended rod made life real easy so this is video number two of just a few other updates I wanted to inform you with. Let you know. Here's some crazy, uh, this piping if you're wondering. I made a custom pipe, wrapped it in thermal protection, and it comes out the front here. So I get a true cold air intake. Good old Spectre filter. And I do have two Optima batteries. Another one over there has my billet. That's just because of the high-end audio. And the uh, beautiful DC engineering high output alternator. 320 amp alternator. There's the specs. If you'd like to go get you one, those are always good. We'll be doing a high output IDM here soon. And uh, eventually maybe upgrade the turbo. I just wanted to do the wheel for now. 
Let's see what kind of upgrades we got. We also got the, only did the four inch exhaust all the way down and out, straight pipe. And that's about all the mods right now. And also, of course, we got the, it used to have the old boost cage, never took it out. But now we have the Edge CTS Evolution. I like this tuner, it's pretty good. It shows you everything on screen. I have the keys in the ignition, which I do. It shows uh, right now, I got it on multiple settings. It shows the top left is your transmission fluid temperature, air intake temperature, battery voltage. Uh, voltage is kind of low because I've been playing my music with the bass and the truck was off. IPR percentage, I, ICP pressure, boost, uh, your map sensor, and uh, your engine oil temperature. I got it on power level setting three. But yeah, that's it. Next video coming soon.